Three, two, one, go. Welcome back, guys. So there's a few little alterations I want to make uh, before we get into coloring and lighting and all that stuff. One was I just wanted to take his upper lids and just sort of move them back a little bit like that. I just wanted his, I just wanted him to be a little more, see a little bit more of his eyes. You can also adjust and sort of bring this out a little bit and adjust it. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was bring his chest up a little bit. So probably you just use move. Just bring that up a little bit. Just give him a little more of a of a neck. And also, since we moved the head, I'm just going to use my inflate and I was originally just going to have one, have these as individual pieces, but they're, it's kind of cool. They're, they're more like alligator plates. It's kind of cool. Let's go in close and see if we can get some, some little ones. Okay, let me just smooth, smooth these out a little bit just to keep everything nice and Smooth and pretty and cohesive. Okay. Um, the only other things I wanted to do is we can give him little toes. So I'll just use inflate. And maybe I'll just... Maybe just like two toes. Let's see how that looks once we smooth them back a little bit. Mm. Not the cleanest. Um, we can probably just use spheres. So let me just save. And let's use spheres because I still want to do the little toe beans. So let's do this with some spheres. Gizmo. And we'll just, we'll mirror because the legs are the same. And you know what? Okay, so this is our, this is our first mirror. And I'm just going to clone both of these. So I have both of these selected. I'm just going to clone them. And... And this one, we'll go to that sphere. This one we can use for the toes. You know what, let's clone it again. his two toes there which I think look pretty good you can also make them smaller if you want yeah, maybe a little stretch stretch like that I'll validate all of these and we'll just do arm 
some toes. Does that even make sense? Pivot, reset, pivot, and then you can even move them back a little bit or rotate them. I think I like how they are. I think that's fine. So now let's go back to this one and just make the toe beans. So let's flatten it up. And the most difficult thing is just adjusting it so it's evenly on the outside of the of the leg. That's the only tricky thing. Maybe I'll even puff it out a little bit more. That might make it a little easier. Yeah, there we go. So, um, that's actually fine. We can actually, we can validate it and let's validate this. And this will be bean one. And we can clone bean one. So let's clone it. I think I just cloned it twice by accident. And I probably shouldn't have named it. So let's name bean is the big one. Bean one and bean two could be little ones. So now let's take the little ones. Where is the, oh, you gotta do pivot, reset, pivot, right? Yeah. So these are the little ones. They're a little tricky to they're a little tricky to move on their own. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um okay, so let's go back. Okay, so now we let's just go back to the mirror. And then let's just clone each individual one. So we'll clone. Yeah, so let's just clone each individual one. That's a lot easier. Because it makes it way more difficult to work on it when you have to work on them when the symmetry thing is in the middle. And it's difficult. I took it off of a line. That way I'm just working on the local directions. Cause if you do a line, then it's only the, you can only do it this way. But if you take it off that, then, you know, when you move this around, it's easier to, it's easier to um, situate. Hopefully that makes sense. So I think I want like, well, they do have to be on, on the underside of the toes. So something like that, I think. The only problem is they... Let's make them smaller and let's puff them out a little bit more. That might make this a whole lot easier. There we go. So I think something like that is pretty good. Stretch it out a bit. Now maybe I can flatten it a little bit. Okay, that feels decent. I 
Okay, that feels decent. So now I'm gonna clone. Since we got the first one, I can just clone and then hopefully these will be a lot easier. We can just move it into place. That looks pretty good. Just want to bring the bottom out a little bit. All right, let's clone and let's do one more. Okay, now for this one, I, I kind of wanted to move it around a little bit. It's pretty good, maybe a little flatter. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now that that's done, and uh, is there anything else that we want to add on to this character? So let's mold, let's fuse the body, the tail, the arms, the toes, and the head. So I'm going to save it. Okay, so for these toe beans, I'm going to validate and just name them toe beans. So that's all the toe beans. Arm toes, floor arms. Okay, so we have the arms. Oh, the arm toes, the arms, the tail. We don't want to do the legs, the body, the ears, not the ear puffs, the low lids, the up lids. Um, you can always not um, join the up lids and low lids as well. So if you think you might want to alter something or change something or... Um, then just don't don't fuse them together. Don't voxel remesh them. So if you want to change the eyes later or make them blink or something, then just don't. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, and the head. Okay, so we have head, ears are going to be together, eyes, all this is going to be together, the body, the arms, the little toes. All that's going to be together. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm going to voxel remesh these together and I'm going to do it fairly high. I'll do it at 500 because I don't want to lose any detail and I don't really think I'm going to be changing anything else. So that's why I'm doing it uh, fairly high. Now we'll just smooth all of this out. Just be careful not to mess with this little, the little skin flap there. And also be careful here, because um, obviously the arms are, are touching and it's together, but you, you kind of want to leave that little, that crease. So you don't want to smooth that too much, because then they won't look like they're separate arms. Okay, now we have the head. Get that nice and blended. I like keeping things separate, but it's really nice to have have these sections um, together, voxel remeshed. It just, it looks so much nicer when you have one solid piece. I like the flexibility of just being able to join and I, you know, and it really shows, like you can really see that dark crevice, but when you can block something out and then put it together, it's the best.
So then we have his little tail. Take it off symmetry because the tail is not symmetrical. So now that we have that, it might be nice to, let's see if we can, if we can add like a little skin fold here with inflate. Smooth out the ends. Make that nice little skin fold. Nice little detail. Oh, and I forgot the toes. We'll smooth these. We can put symmetry back on to do the toes since those are symmetrical. I think I forgot to smooth the eyelids. Okay. Nice. I wonder if I want to pinch these. I think they look better pinched. Just this outside edge looks clean. I like it. All right, cool. Cool, let me save. See if I want to adjust the eyes at all. Pivot, reset, pivot. All right, I want to do a quick, uh, a quick little backdrop. So I'm going to add two sphere or two uh, boxes, and we're going to see if we can do this really quickly. So I'm going to add one box here. So I'll stretch it out. I'll stretch it out this way too. So we'll do something like that. And now I'm gonna clone it. And I'm on snap 90, so I'm just gonna snap it this way. Wind it up with the bottom. And do something like that. All right, for now I'm just gonna join these two and name it um, Backdrop. Stretch it out a little bit more, a little bit wider. Okay, that should be pretty good. So now I just want to bring this up until it just peeks over the cylinder that we made. There we go. All right, and also now we can go to the camera and change it from orthographic to perspective. I forgot I already did. But change it to perspective and you can adjust it as you wish. I usually put mine around like 12 or so. So now for this backdrop, I just want to voxel remesh it at like 65. Actually, let's do like, let's do like 75. Uh -oh. Maybe we have to do a little higher than that. Let's do, I 
There we go. I think I did like 135 or something. So now that we have that, I'm just gonna smooth this out. Try to just smooth it out kind of evenly. Not that it really matters, but okay. So now we have like a decent backdrop. So he can be like kind of sitting. All right. So I'm gonna try to find a good pose, for, not pose, but like a good angle. See, that looks pretty good. I like to position it right over this bar. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to save this view. I'll just call it one. All right, so now let's change it from uh, Metcap to Lit PBR. And I think I want to change everything except for the cameras and except for the I and P1. I want to change everything else to a matte white. Okay, so something like that. Go back to my view. Um, and also you can see that I, somehow I must've made the ears not perfectly, not that it really bothers me, but um, I don't know, I don't know at what point that happened. <laughs> at some point in time, I made the, the ears got a little, a bit off, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be completely symmetrical. All right, so now let's just add, do we want to, let's add a light. So I'm going to turn off the environment and I'll add one light. This is probably one of my favorite parts about um, with sculpting is adding this first light. I just think it always looks so good. Um, it just always makes it look really, 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 really nice. Okay, so with this light, I'm gonna turn the intensity up because I always do. And you know what? I wonder if I want to keep it a directional light. I'll keep it a directional light for now. So I'm going to change this light to a uh, key light. So this is the main light source. So we have the key light. The only other thing that I like to do is uh, soften the shadows or so just soften the light. So now I want to add a fill light. And this will be a spotlight over here. And you can see this is awfully bright. So first let's soften the shadows and let's lower this, the intensity of this fill light. Because we want it to still be dark. We want it to still be dark, but we just don't, don't want it to be that dark. Don't want it to be completely black. So that's pretty good. So now I want to add an edge light. So the fill, then we'll add another light and I'll name this edge. And this will be another spotlight, but this will go behind. Kind of pointing right at his, here we go, something like that. I 
I don't want too much of it on the ground. I do like some of it on the back though, so there we go. Something like that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at our view. That looks good. Then we have that perfect like edge that just makes it look so, so nice. All right, so the next light, um, I'm just gonna name this one BG. We'll make it a spotlight. Oops, not a point light, a spotlight. And this I want to kind of point to the background. This is a great way to make, make your background a little more dynamic and kind of get it involved in the aesthetics of the of the sculpt. So we do something like that. Let's lower the intensity. see these lines on the wall. Can you smooth those out? Okay. And I think I want the floor to be... I think I want the floor to be glossy. Um, though it might be worth it to... It might be worth it to figure out a color first before I start doing all that. Okay, let's take a look at our view. Looks really good. Let's take a look at it with post-process. Looks nice. Okay, so I want to take a look at, let's turn the global illumination up. So it's a little bright, and I want to see what it looks like with the environment on. We'll turn that down until it looks decent, but I, I kind of want the environment there. So I think I'm going to put it around one, and I want to make the eyes glossy. Make the pupils glossy and I want to make the eyes themselves glossy and that's when you can see uh, this environment that I use um, that the link is in the description if you want to use this exact one you can use any of the uh, any of the environments where are they so you can use any of the environments but I always use this one that I made uh, and that, that one's on my gum road, if you want to use the same one. I use it in all my sculpts. But you can use any of these environments. But I like this one because it gives that nice round. It's just, that's just the, the look that I really like. Okay, so I probably will turn this off soon, uh, uh, post-process. But at least for now, I'm going to turn the render resolution down because it's nice to be able to edit in post-process because it gives you a better look at what your final render will be. Um, but it can be a little tricky too, because it takes up a lot of resources. So I have my iPad plugged in, which is very helpful. So I want to, I want to turn. Key lights. Okay. I turned it down a little bit. So let's take a look at the fill light. Let's move this over so we can see it completely. So the fill light, let's take a look with the fill light off. Oh, you can't even really see a difference. So I'll leave that off. The edge, the edge looks good. I might, I could probably even make that a little brighter. And you have the BG. Okay, so I like this. Oh, and there's another thing you can do as well. On this, if I want it really reflective, I can go into, where is it? I go into the material and you can turn up the uh, reflectance. So that'll make it more 
more reflective. I might do the same thing with these eyes. But I want it to be a little more uh, shadowy. So I can probably do that in post-process with, uh, with these. You turn them up or down and it'll sort of adjust the, the darkness, even with this. I like something like that. I think it looks nice and soft. I think I want the vignette. I'll turn that off. And also it's a little bright. And let's see. So I do have this background. If I turn that off, let's change the color a little bit. So we'll make that a little more gray. Could probably even make it darker. Might look a little more realistic. I like that. And then you can adjust your VG light. That looks kind of cool. What is this weird? I'm getting a, oh, is this a shadow? It might be the shadow from this light. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm getting that big kick off this light. Um, but I don't want to turn off the shadow because that would look weird too. So if that's the case, I don't really like that shadow there. So, you know, maybe I'll bring it a little closer. Okay, that's a little better. I still have it, but then I don't have that bad shadow here. These are the kind of things you have to really look out for. Okay, so I think, I mean, that's pretty good. We can color them, but, you know, that's another can of worms. Let me get one, a view that's a little closer. That's a, that's a pretty cute angle. So I'll add this, I'll call this two. Uh, on this angle, let me try the fill light again. Yeah, I really can't even see it. Where is this light? I can see it a little bit there. I just saw it a little bit. But I notice on this on this view, the edge is a little bright. So I can either move it, you know, or then I just have to move it back for the other the other angle. I can probably lower this a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little bit uh, better. So let me go ahead and save this. 
Um, oh, I wanted to change everything to subsurface, like I always do. So we got head. Um, teeth. Ears, legs, toe beans. I think that's everything. Except for the tongue. So we'll turn it on to post process. Bring this down probably to around like one. That's pretty good. Can probably make it a little bit. Just so you can just see through it a little bit. That's usually the sweet spot. All right. And I want to see what it looks like without depth of field. Because I might not, might not really need it with this background. Okay, so as for coloring, uh, for the head, I'm going to rename head body, or main. I'm going to put ear puffs above it, because the ear puffs are the highest thing. And then I want to put the legs and the arms. Oh, are the arms attached? The arms are attached. Okay, so we'll the legs. Put the tongue up here and the teeth. I'll put all the, I'll join the teeth all together. Backdrop I'll bring down. Oh, we don't need the floor anymore, so I'll delete that. Toe beans I'll put up by the legs. Okay, so. So mane and legs, these should be next to each other because if I color them, they're going to be colored the same thing. He's like a little like puff color. Those nice and pink. Toe beans. Those could match. And the tongue could actually match as well. This part of the eye can be Be inner color, any color really. Oh, I think I did them rough, super rough. Is the reflectance still up? Yes, it is. Okay. So the teeth. I'm gonna do white and glossy. the background I don't know what color to do I just feel like sort of an off-white, although he's off-white. Maybe we'll do something like this to start. That backlight is really bright. Lower the intensity of that. Maybe even make it a little more red. I 
Uh, and one thing that, since I'm not really getting a lot of light difference, uh, I'm going to change the key to a spotlight. And I'll put it in roughly the same spot. And I just want to make sure that it's soft. Yeah, it's still soft. So that kind of gives you the same sort of thing. Now you can see, I think a spotlight actually works better for this, uh, this scene. Fill light, I can probably, I could probably fill. I might even raise the exposure on this a little bit. And then maybe take away some of this shadow. Yeah, that makes it a little more cute. Kind of like that with the gray background. I might even like the, the gray background more than this. I could always change the color of this. And just adjust it so it matches. I kind of like doing that. I can tell that this is a little more yellow. It's kind of a fun thing to do, like color match like this. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Okay, I kind of like that. Kind of like this, uh, let's take a look at them from the other side. I like that too. Well, anyway. This light doesn't need to be red anymore. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with, pretty happy with him. I think I could be happy and call him quits. I might do some more editing with him, but I'm pretty happy. I think it's a really cute character. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. I'd love to see you guys' creations. Um, if you post it on social media, just tag me so I can check it out. Um, yeah. So there's one, two, three... I might color them differently, so we'll see. All right, I think that I'm gonna call it. Oh, did I do, oh, it is post-process, okay. Let me make sure I did that. Oh, that looks good, oh, that looks good. And one last thing I always do is I go through and I turn off my lights. That one can go off. I do want to do something with the edge light. I think I like this view the best. So I want to turn this edge light so I can see. I can't see anything right now. I just want to see a bit of this edge light. Okay, 
still can't see it. So I just have to bring it, um, bring it around until I can properly see it. Oh, there we go. There it is. See a little bit of it. There we go. So at least I can see a bit on the body. Get that shadow off the off the floor. And do I want to change the temperature of this light? We'll just do white. Yeah, something like that. Cool. I'm going to do save as. So now I have the colored one as well. All right. I don't know why that pops up. I think that's a, a new bug. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, just in case no one knows how to export. Just go here, save it first, and you can go down. And I'm gonna do 4K, because I'll put it in the video. All right. And it's going to take a while because I have all my post-process options up. So I will officially see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.